finishing a Wood River knife kit, and handling a bush hook. William Hovey Smith, 2015. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and here we do a knife building project that I completed for a friend. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. Today we have some edged tools to do some grinding on. One you have seen before is this knife. And we actually sent it off and had the fellow actually try it in his own hand to see if he would like it modified before we did the final finish. And what he told me was this little bird's head crook here was a bit tight on his hands and so he would like this relieved. And so we're going to do that with this belt sander here. Now also we have another rather formidable looking edge instrument here, which, if you don't know it, is a bush hook. Now, this is sort of a descendant of the medieval tool called a bill, uh, which was a pole tool, sometimes used as an arm <laughs> to drag knights off their horses. <laughs> so, this was a fighting tool as well as a very useful farm and outdoor instrument. Okay, this shape is still useful today for clearing brush and uh, small trees, saplings, second growth, trimming limbs in a hurry, uh, clearing rights of way and so on. So uh, I broke the handle off it, obviously. So we're going to put a new handle on it. Well, I could not find in my small rural Georgia town an exact replacement. So what we have done is we have here a handle for a shovel, which is about the right length that I wanted, and also about the right diameter here once I actually trimmed off the end, which I've already done. So we're going to grind this down to fit with my grinder over there, do a little fine finishing on the sander here, drill a couple of holes, and then return my good and faithful tool to service. I'm going to reduce the diameter all the way back to about here to approximately this diameter. This is actually a nearly right, but uh, this is much too thick. So we're going to reduce it down to here and uh, see how we do here. Okay, that looks to eye to be fairly good. Uh, we'll see actually how it fits on the work. We'll be firing up the belt sander shortly. Uh, what we did actually is pretty good, and I'm not going to take too terrible much off it. Uh, yeah, that looks reasonable. We just want to true it up some. Yeah, that is doing just fine. We're going to put adhesive now and go ahead and seat it. On the knife, the second part of what we'll do today is I'm going to grind away much of this bird's head so that this grip comes out to be straight. So we'll do that right now. We have done what we actually wanted to do with a knife in that we have reduced the height of this beak here considerably. And now it has more nearly a smooth continuation of this curve. So it's much more friendly to the little finger when you actually grasp the knife. We've also rounded it a little bit more and thinned it a little bit more. 
and we're now ready to just about take it inside and do the hand sanding and finishing. Now we did also correct the length of the scales here. So now they are both at the same length, whereas previously one was just a little bit more forward than the other. So we took care of this mostly. And uh, so now we just take it inside and sand it and get it where it looks real right and symmetrical and then start putting some stain and finish on it. The nice thing about drill presses is you're able to precisely locate your holes. So we've got it fairly well lined up right here with this quarter inch bit. And we're going to try to get it right straight down through the work. through. All right, that's number one hole done. Let's see how we did. Yep, we are through. Okay. quick and yep now that yeah no way I could have done that twice in a row with hand drilled so okay yep we got that one done we have now very nearly finished our handling projects on the bush hook we have our nuts and bolts installed so the bush hook is now ready to go so with a glue bond plus the nuts and bolts, and oh, uh, that head is not going to go anywhere. Okay. Concerning the knife, we are now very nearly through with it. Now I have two coats of finish on it, and between the coats of finish, I'm sanding it down with very fine steel wool. And so this increases the depth of the finish, and then when I am completely through with it, I will take it, and put a coat of wax on the handle. But this turned out to be very nice. And the significance of it is that yes, if you rehandle a knife, not only can you make it fit the hand of the individual who wants it, which is significant enough, but you can also use woods and other materials of particular significance to them. Now this is a piece of butcher block from this rather indistinguished plank that we've been working on. Now this plank is significant because it was cut by his late father and he wanted some remembrance. So okay, so we salvaged this plank which otherwise would have been burned or thrown away and uh, yeah, it made a very nice attractive knife handle. To you could use any number of woods to make this handle. Now you can do exactly the same thing. If you have a piece of lumber from an old ancestral home, say, or a piece of antler or anything else that has special significance in time or place, yeah, go ahead and use it and make your own handles. And so you can pick out the blade pattern that you want and put your own wooden handles on them. Makes a fine gift. You know, it's plenty of time between now and Christmas. Yeah put one of these together for Christmas presents this year. Here are some of the stages like sanding with 200 grit sandpaper and we finished off with 400 grit emery. Now these knife blades are available from a variety of sources including Alabama Damascus and I'll give you their addresses at the end of this video. So yeah, uh, you can put together a knife like this using their steels and your wood and come out with a beautiful product. Now I am not only the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, but also other books, including Extreme Muzzleloading, both of which have chapters on knives and how to use them in the field. I'm also the author of the forthcoming book Profit, that'll tell you how to make a million 
or billion dollar business using your own creativity. You can get Damascus knife blanks in more than 20 knife patterns from Alabama, Damascus. Now, these are American-made steel and other supplies from Dixie Gunworks. For info on my books and other stuff, go to my website. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.